The basis of all life, including that in the entire biosphere and that in every cell, is DNA. DNA codes for proteins which determine every trait an organism displays and every process an organism uses throughout their entire lifespan. These strains of DNA are found in tightly compacted bundles called chromosomes. Chromosomes, when organized in homologous pairs and lined up according to length, form a karyotype. In the human karyotype, there are 23 pairs, which include 22 autosomal pairs and one sex chromosome pair. When DNA replicates, occasionally errors are made. These genetic mutations are often harmless and have no overall effect on the organism. More dangerous mutations happen when reproductive cells divide through the process of meiosis. These cells, if fertilized, can create an entirely mutated offspring. Some of the most dangerous mutations happen when an organism ends up with an extra chromosome. Individuals end up with extra chromosomes when DNA replication goes completely awry. Sometimes, through the genetic process of crossing over, pieces of chromosomes can break off to form new DNA packets. Other times, a cell can replicate a certain section of DNA too many times in order to form a new chromosome. Most commonly, however, is when a cell undergoes meiosis incorrectly, creating an imbalancement of chromosomes in certain cells. Under some circumstances, extra chromosomes don't have an effect on an individual. An example of this is trisomy X, where a female has three X chromosomes. This has minimal effects on about one in every 1,000 females born every day. Most individuals suffering from this condition have no side effects at all, but some produce more estrogen than normal females. In contrast, several genetic conditions exist where side effects are severe. The condition called Patau syndrome happens when an individual has an extra chromosome 13. This condition happens to one in every 16,000 births to predominantly older mothers. Individuals with this disorder often have extra fingers and toes, cleft palate, heart and spinal problems, and severe learning disabilities. Only 15% of infants born with this genetic mutation survive past their first week, and only 5-10% to of those make it to adulthood. Most cases, the condition exists called Edwards syndrome, also known as trisomy 18. This genetic condition causes a disruption to the growth patterns of an individual, resulting in shrunken or deformed heads, lungs, hearts, hands, and feet. 90-95% to of infants die within the first month of life. The condition called Klinefelter syndrome happens when an individual has two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome. This usually results in a severe drop in testosterone levels and can cause the individual to have a slow physical developmental rate. About one in every 500 males born have this condition, but almost all of them with this condition have a normal lifespan. 47XYY syndrome happens when a male has two Y chromosomes. This condition results in abnormally tall individuals with very mild mental developmental disabilities. Individuals with 47XYY would be at most a year behind their peers and live a relatively normal life. Monosony X, also known as Turner syndrome, happens in females when they only have one X chromosome. The most common effect of this disorder is infertility, which happens before birth. Another common trait that goes along with this disease is varying heart problems and a condition known as webbed neck. Most individuals live a normal life. This condition affects one in every 2,500 female births, but this condition commonly leads to miscarriages. My name is Katie Engelbrecht, and I'm a registered nurse. Well, I have uh, 48 developmentally disabled clients that live in residential group homes, and I coordinate all their health care. Uh, that is one of the developmental disabilities. Uh, of which by far our greatest number are Downs. So of that 48, I have about seven clients with Down syndrome. It's not uh, inherited. It's not passed on from uh, mother or father. It is actually a defect in the chromosomal makeup.
it is pretty more prevalent than what we had thought, you know, about one in every thousand mm -hmm. uh, births is a Down syndrome. They um, are at all different levels of functioning. All Down syndrome uh, individuals, though, do have some level of mental retardation. They have a multitude of, of health problems. Um, they are very short in stature, um, usually only around four foot eight to four foot ten, and so therefore they have a tendency to be a little on the heavy side, so they're kind of chippy. Um, they will have very definite facial um, characteristics. I think that what it, that makes it a little harder for them because they're so easy to identify from a physical standpoint. So they do have low set ears. Um, if you were to follow your eye straight over, you would come right to the top of where your ear meets uh, the head. For them, it's much lower. So that's one, one definite characteristic. Their eyes are usually a little more slanted. Um, they uh, oftentimes will have um, protruding tongues. They want to stick their tongue out all the time and you don't know what the, is going on there. Most time they are born with webbed fingers and webbed toes that's usually taken care of pretty quickly after birth. They go ahead and just remove that skin. And they can have a lot of different, usually they will have some kind of speech difficulty, uh, hearing, hearing loss, um, heart disease, different types of skeletal, skeletal deformities, so they're prone to a lot of different health problems. I think they deal extremely well, to be honest with you, because they're um, very determined people. You know, they, they're, they're, if they have their sights on something, they're going to go after it. So they usually really do quite well. Usually, uh, therapy goes along with, with whatever the medical problem might be. You know, if there's a, a, some type of deformity uh, bone-wise, you know, physical therapy, occupational therapy, things of that sort, there really are no medications unless there's a medical problem along with the Downs that the Downs has caused or in some individuals they are a little more prone to uh, types of mental illness too and then that's treated whether it's bipolar disease or schizophrenia or mood disorders those types of things i have never seen a case uh, they're they're fairly rare um, they have a lot more medical problems usually uh, and because the field I'm in is just dealing with developmentally disabled, most of those don't fall into that category.